Hi, probate lawyer Scott Grossman here. Today I'm discussing how you know what property is going through probate. Probate is a process that you're going to have to do if somebody's died and you need their signature in order to transfer property from them to somebody else. What probate really does is it gets you a court order that substitutes for that person's signature. So easily the most common example of property that goes through probate would be a house. If your mom owned her own house and she held title in her own name, so for instance, if Joan Smith owned her house and Joan Smith passes away, Joan Smith isn't there to sign a deed to convey title to somebody else when the house is sold. You need a court order from the probate court that allows you to transfer title of the house from the probate estate to somebody else. Now, of course, it's not just real estate that goes through probate. Other assets like bank accounts, brokerage accounts, in some cases even IRAs and retirement plans. There's really any kind of property at all that can go through probate. And here's how you know. If title is in the name of the person who died and only their name, and that property, whatever it may be, whether it's real estate or some kind of personal property, has some kind of title attached to it. So that means there's an account name, there's a deed, something like that, and you need the person's signature, it's going to go through probate. On the other hand, if that person held title jointly, so if there's a joint tenancy for real estate, for bank accounts, for brokerage accounts, whatever you may have, then when the person dies, whoever else is the joint tenant on the account, they will be the sole owner. It's the same thing if there's a designated beneficiary. So if Joan Smith dies and she's filled out a designated beneficiary form with her bank, let's say, and that beneficiary form says that the savings account goes to my daughter and the checking account goes to my son because they're the designated beneficiaries of each of those accounts, then those accounts pass outside of probate. So the takeaway from all of this is if it's in one person's name and there's no designated beneficiary, if there's nothing in writing that says it goes to somebody else, that property is going through probate.